Hi, my dear YouTube viewers, and welcome to my vlog. Um, this video will start for me saying thank you very much for all the people who decided to subscribe to my channel. Because <clears throat> just recently I have checked and it showed me that I have 200 plus subscribers, which is a very nice tickle on my ego. ego. And also I just received notification that I'm getting close to 10,000 views on my Orchid blog, which I kind of neglected recently, but I did add some more uh, posts and I'm hoping that in time when I find a bit more time now, but when I finish my exams, I will be able to put more interesting stuff in there. Also, um, Besides saying very much, thank you very much for every single person that's watching me and likes my channel and likes watching what I'm doing. I wanted to answer some questions that people in real life ask me, my friends and my colleagues, about my uh, video blog. And I have a list of eight questions, which I just thought will be probably the best, most relevant. And I'm just going to try to quickly answer them. And I hope you like the fact that I'm talking about things like that and I'm actually wording it out. So the first question I've been actually asked by one of my friends is why do you have a video blog and why do you need it? Well, I have a video blog because at one point I started growing the plants and it was more like being interested in receiving feedback from people and seeing how to direct and basically the problem is I do feel quite shy when I have to speak in public and come towards people and present something and I decided to use this chance the anonymity that I can do something on my own when I'm alone and I can talk to a camera which makes me feel more comfortable as a practice then that I will present it to the people in the future so I'm kind of guessing the fact that I have a video blog is about more like a skill practice and therapeutic for me to actually be able to practice my own skills especially because I do I do, I do want to work in HR and I want to be a coach and a mentor for other people and being able to practice the way I speak and come across and just give me by myself the bravery to present myself is very important for me. And why do I need a actually an orchid a video log? It's basically because I do love my orchids and I started growing them as a therapy to keep my mind occupied from getting depressed. And in time it developed a lot of patience and curiosity in me and I started going into the topic and it's got scientific, it got very interesting for me so the actual idea for me of having the blog is that I do something I love and I want to share it with other people and I know at times people might not agree with me or some will be just were thinking oh my god why are you even doing this this is stupid and that's fine because people have their different opinions and I don't really mind but it will be something I do mostly for myself and I really hope that the ability to communicate and present something I really love will help me develop myself as a person. That's a very serious note, isn't it? Um, okay, the second question is why orchids? So as, as I mentioned, I started growing orchids because uh, at the world, there was a period of my life I was very depressed and I've been told by a doctor, I need to take my mind off by getting a hobby. And I started growing amaryllis plants and it came out, I'm severely allergic to the pollen. So severely that I end up having like a two week uh, allergy fever and I was in bed, I was dying. I was like, oh, I can't take this anymore. And I killed all my amaryllis plants and chugged them away and I was left with anything. And I just couldn't live without a plant on my windowsill and I bought myself my first orchid because someone said to me oh orchids don't have airborne pollen so you should be perfectly fine 
So I bought my first for Orchid and I started growing it and in time I started reading more and got more interested and decided I want I want to grow more orchids and I bought myself my first slipper orchid, the Papiopedulum Audio Green, which I absolutely love and my I did have a lot of phalaenopsis, uh, ancidiums, cambria orchids. <laughs> Excuse me. It's because it's really warm in this conservatory and I grow a lot of them but in time I decided I actually prefer the slipper orchids and I felt happier growing them. And why orchids? Because yeah, because all the plants can cause you allergies and I'm not very good at allergies and so it's just like oh, oh sh um another question, what is my favourite orchid and what are my favourite orchids? So I will actually at one point create a list of top 10 my favorite orchids or top 5 or something like that because it's hard because everyone knows me that I'm the king of papyropedulum which I'm not I just have a lot of them and I do like them and I'm trying to share some knowledge and learn more and more and more and I really hope that at one point I'll be actually be able to be really smart about growing those type of orchids and share my knowledge to people who would like to 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 ask me questions and my favorite orchids actually it would be a mixture between the papiopedalums that would be the first then i would have odontoglossum and oncidium crosses um to be the first bit would be papiopedalums and then actually I would be confused because I really like Miltoniopsis orchids and I loved growing them but I don't have the space to do that so I will hope to at one point when I have my own place to live in I'll grow Miltoniopsis orchids again then I would go with the Bellara and Alisiara because I my favorite my, my beloved one is the um, evening colors the gleaming and uh, yeah, and I probably would go with the fourth, the Cattleyas. I do like on the fifth place, I would put the Catacetum, although I never grew them, and I just really like the flowers. And probably the fifth would share with Dendrobium. I think that's a fair choice because I can't name orchid by name because there's so much orchids I actually do love that putting one in front of another would just be unfair. What's my least favourite orchid? Probably the one... Uh, I think I... Oh, that's actually hard because at one point of my life I hated cat layer orchids because I just thought they are horrible. Or I do think I dislike the bulbophyllum. film. Some of them are really nice and some of them are really horrible and most of them I won't be able to physically grow and also must have and stuff like that because it's just like it's too much physically too much hassle for me to concentrate on even pretending I can care that I would like to grow that thing so no so probably yeah those very high humidity required requiring orchids um okay how much plants did you kill so far I hate this question straight away because I hate admitting the fact that I actually killed something, especially if it's a plant. And not that I killed, killed stuff. Um, my first orchid I killed was an orchid I bought with my other half in the nursery and accidentally I didn't repot it straight away and I left it for a few weeks because I was enjoying the flowers. And I didn't notice there was root rot, and the root rot killed the orchid. And I was very gutted about that. Um, the next orchid I killed accidentally was actually my first orchid, uh, just because I had it for a very long time, and it was that type of orchid that was growing really, really well. Everything was fine, it was blooming, and at one point it got a because it was very very hot summer it got a slightly bit of a sunburn on the leaf and i moved it to a shady location and 
it didn't like the heat and the humidity and it started developing some kind of leaf infection and uh, it fighted it off but it uh, at a great cost that basically it was fine but it didn't do anything for like a few months and then after a few months I, I think the plant just decided it's too weak and started dying um, I killed a small cymbidium because I overwatered it accidentally, it was a, se a seedling. Um, what else I did kill? I did a uh, kill of Phalaenopsis, which belonged to my nan, and I kind of got really annoyed with it because it didn't want to do anything, and I just chucked it away. That's not really killing. I did kill it. Um, and I did kill one uh, Miltoniopsis because uh, I've had so much fun with nuts, I just basically decided I'm gonna burn this bloody thing and just get rid of it. Um, do you have anyone who inspired you to have a video blog and whose videos you really like? Uh, there is a few channels I do really like and I don't have any one in particular. Mm. I do love Rachel from and um, her video channel or from the Orchids of uh, God or the Rachel from Duenza. Um and she's like my great inspiration because I just love how wonderful and she's just like she's she's a really, really kind and warm person and she's just like her smile is infectious and her plants are beautiful. Um, so I think probably she would be a bit of my inspiration. Um, what do you think about all the people having video blogs? Um, I love watching other people video blogs and I just really adore the idea of having a video community that we share our ideas and our plans and what we do with them. Um, I can say sometimes people can be negative because everyone will be like trying to have their opinion and depending on what kind of character they are, they might be more demanding or is the way it's like they'll be just looking for uh, uh, notice so they get not notice. There is few people I used to really adore when I used to watch the channels when <clears throat> a long time ago and I would spend days listening to their advice and everything but right now after some time I can't stand listening or watching their blogs because they just sound too patronizing for me and I find it annoying because many people is really looking up to them which they shouldn't because they're just people, they just grow plants like everyone else. Okay, they've been there here longer, they have, they have more subscribers, but they, they are probably, probably guessing that some of them, that fact just hit in the head and they feel like, oh, because I have so much subscribers, I need to present myself like a celebrity, which is just like ridiculous because we are all in the same bucket. And, uh, yeah, I, there's some negativity in the orchid community. Some people will argue. Some people will be jealous about all the plants. Some people will just think, oh my God, I'm amazing and I'm just gonna keep being whatever. So yeah. Um, and I think it's really important like for someone like me who I actually find enjoyable to talk on the camera now to support other people who are just like creating their own video channels and they're struggling because they're feeling shy or something like that so I think that's brilliant and just come up with really good ideas what to present to people so people can actually find information they find useful and enjoyable so like the Lacusa pots which I think it's really good, really good idea. Obviously, uh, I think I started actually doing the video about the papillopedilums because there wasn't a lot about them on on YouTube anyway. I could barely find any information. Everyone's just about like, oh yeah, 
catacetums of crazy about those plants, oncidiums, Milton Yopsis, Cattleya, Cattleyas are bloody everywhere. So yeah, I will present papillopendrons because I think they are very exotic and they deserve to be presented because it's not just about the Mount Yawa and the Vinicola and the American hybrid, there's so much, much more in papillopendrons and I'm going to try to publicise that. And um, what are my orchid plans? Uh, well, I can't say I have any plans because I am restricted by space and finances very much. So until I work towards a much better working position and a higher pay and my own living space where I can actually grow something in a conservatory or have more than one windowsill, then I will be able to say, oh, I'm going to grow some more because I really want to grow some billions. Um, and because I absolutely love those flowers and I could grow more of the papillopendulums and go to my beloved Miltoniopsis, which I grow really well, and maybe some Miltonias and Odonglossum because they're really, really beautiful, and maybe one or two more Cattleyas. Can you grow any plant? No, I can't grow any plant because that's, that's a question someone actually asked me. Um, I don't think I have green fingers. I do think I just know how not to kill a plant. Although sometimes I really struggle because I get really, oh my God, can, why are you not growing? Can you grow? Do grow. Come on, grow some more. So I do, do get really like impatient. But... I think I'm really good at growing indoor plants. I'm not sure how I would go with outdoor plants, but yeah, that would be interesting. And that's all the questions I had. And if you have any questions for me, actually, my dear viewers, please, please do email me them and I would love to chat to you. And I would just love to get everyone involved in this conversations and just orchid talk because we should connect and I would find it a brilliant idea to actually have people come to me and say like oh Rob I have a question or I have a discussion I would like to make and can you mention that in your video so I will actually try doing that and yeah uh, what I said and uh, again thank you very much to all my subscribers and that's really nice of you and I would actually love to hear some comments from the people who subscribe to my channel and hear what they like and what they dislike and what would they like to see more of and less of so if you're annoyed by my rambling all the time about everything do please tell me and if you'd like me to do some sort of project or something that I just didn't came up with because yeah sometimes my head is empty please tell me and I will be really really glad to respond to you and just see people involving themselves because we as I said we're all together in this bucket and it would be really nice to have you on board and actually know someone is listening and everyone there is alive not just Oh yes, I subscribe and I'm just gonna probably have a look at the video maybe once a year. So thank you again. Uh, if you like this video, do please put the like button. And if you like my channel, do subscribe. And I very, very much encourage you to put a comment down below, not on the table, on the comment box. So yeah, thank you again and see you. Bye.